Hello, and welcome back to Brock, the Investigator. Uh-oh, we're late for a fight. I'm here. Ready. Chill, bro. The fight starts in ten minutes. Wait, what? Huh? But you said... I used my bending time capacity. What? Bending time? You were late, so I jumped back an hour to get you earlier. Huh? But that's impossible. Is it? We can imagine it, right? Doesn't that simple fact make it possible? No. No, you're confusing me. Okay, okay. You're right, I didn't. After all this time, don't you think I've learned a thing or two about you? The only way to get you here on time is to never give you the right timing. I see. Ugh, I fell for it again. Good thing you always seem to forget. Still, bending time. Wouldn't it be convenient? There are many interesting theories. Uh-oh. Here comes <laughs> Miss Science again. Well, you've got ten minutes to kill now, don't you? Been a long day. I could really use a rest. Oh, very well. If you prefer spending this time doing nothing over enlightening your spirit, that's your choice. I'll listen to the theory. Actually, you made me curious. Enlighten me. Good. First of all, let me ask you this simple question. Huh? What is time? Well, uh, linear progression of events. It's some kind of measurement. Yeah, it works like, too. Like, I weigh two hundred twenty pounds, and you weigh <laughs> um, that. Um, Br Brock, you weigh way more than two hundred twenty pounds, and I'm not calling you fat. I. That is definitely some muscle there, along with some softness, but yeah. Unless you're like, maybe you're five foot four or something, maybe. How much do you weigh? Bro, <laughs> you're as clueless about women as you are of science, aren't you? Anyway, I see what you mean. Time is a constant, right? Well, weight is not a constant, but whatever. For instance, fixing this tablet takes me one minute. Meanwhile, you're up on the trash mountain looking down at my garage. When I'm done fixing it, how much time has passed for you? Well, one minute? Wrong! What? Time is relative. It can vary for different observers. Well, yeah. So we're going into Einstein's uh, theory of uh, one minute of uh, kissing someone you enjoy is a lot less time than one minute of putting your hand on a hot stove. In my example, it will almost be one minute spent for you. Almost, but not exactly. There will be a very slight difference, maybe just less than a nanosecond. It's especially true when you're higher, thus not subject to the same gravity, like you on the mountain. Okay, so they're going with this, which is... Kind of possibly? I mean, I've read research about this, and it is fascinating. Think about satellites. The effects of gravity, as well as the satellite's increased speed above the Earth relative to observers on the ground, make their clock gain about 50 microseconds a day. So, basically, you're saying that I could get older faster than you? Exactly. Maybe less than a second faster in an entire lifespan. But the difference exists. It's called time dilation. Yep. Does it matter? Yes, because it means one important thing. Time cannot be dissociated from space. Mm. You know how every object has three coordinates, height, width, and depth? These are dimensions. Yep. Well, time is the same. It's called the fourth dimension. <sighs> Sometimes. I mean, that that is... T typically, um, although some people call the fourth dimension location. Eh, it, it, it's semantics. It's hard for us to imagine. Time is an illusion of our mind. Lunchtime doubly so. If we can move an object into space, why couldn't we move it into time as well? <sighs> but how do we do that? Not the slightest idea. By moving into space, close to the speed of light. The speed of light? Hey, have you been to school? Everyone knows that. 
Energy equals mass times speed of light squared, I guess. Now that you mention it, Grandpa and I, we often watch the stars at night. He told me that we observe them as they were millions of years ago. Yep. Yes, that's because light is an instant. A star's light takes a lot of time to reach us. Yep. Right now, how you're seeing me is the only reflection from my older self. Oh, so you're actually younger? That varies according to your perspective. <laughs> There's a delay. It's so tiny, our brains can't notice. Yep. But that doesn't make anyone travel in time. It's just looking. Right. We're standing still. What happens if we move? Say you have a twin. I do? Of course not, silly. One bro is already too much for this world. Hey. <laughs> but let's assume you've got one. While you're staying on Earth, your twin is traveling inside a spaceship at a very high speed. Years mm -hmm. pass. One day he comes back, and to your surprise, he's much younger than you. Hey, hey uh, that's not fair. But true, the twin has aged much slower than you. Time slows down or speeds up depending on how fast you move relative to another reference. So, in a way, we can say that the twin traveled to the future. That's fine, but I wouldn't want to go forward in time. It'd be awful. <laughs> All the people I know would be old or dead. Can we go back instead? Is that possible? Notice what I said. To go into the future, we'd need to reach a speed close to the speed of light. Yep. Now, what would happen if we could exactly reach the speed of light? Well, I guess we would disintegrate. Our body couldn't take it. Neither would our mind. We'd go crazy. Possibly, but you're making a common thinking mistake. You wouldn't need to move straight forward to gain speed. A vessel could be moving back and forth, increasing progressively and ever so slightly, that the movement itself wouldn't be perceived by the mind and body. You mean, like our reflection previously? Yep. Space in the vessel would shrink, including all objects inside. And suddenly, BAM! You reach the speed of light and enter a wormhole. From there, you get access to the whole world history. Well, it's very speculative. You can land anywhere you want. Or should I say, any time. Exciting, uh-huh. Can you just picture it? <laughs> right now, the only thing in my mind is a headache. <laughs> Uh-oh. We may need to go back in time, all right. Why are you saying that? Because it's time. Quick! In the cabin! <laughs> Ow. was supposed to be. What? Never mind. Let's rock, Croc. Uh, oh. You. You're a... 
Darn. You blew my cover. Shay, I gotta go. What? No way. Not an option. I, I can't hit a lady. <laughs> well, I am one, and I'm telling you, smash her down. Don't be a gentleman. I can handle you. Besides, this is all virtual. Um... Very well. Let's do it. I won't hold back. Sorry it came to this. You're a skilled fighter, but don't worry about it. I wasn't here for the money anyway. Then what for? Goodbye. Ah. Well, I won. What a day. Rare price winner, shaded X 200 units for bolt. Done. No one can withstand my fists of steel. Fist of fury. Congrats, bro. This should cover some of your debt. Why do you always have to ruin the fun? <laughs> well, bye. Hey. You're making it sound like it's an everyday job. Isn't it? I'm risking my life for some credits. Nah, you can't die. <laughs> what? Why are you always so confident I'll never get killed? Or worse? Because we can reload. Like this morning, when you sent me to hack a border post full of deadly bots and lasers. Or when you set up that giant saw that I barely escaped from. I was lucky to make it out alive. What a silly question. <laughs> That's because I know the... Mm, I mean... I know you. <laughs> uh -huh. I believe in you. Hmm. Okay. Thanks, Shay. You're a great friend. No problem, bro. Team Unlocked, Chapter 2. So we're heading into Chapter 3, then. This place is dark. Let's move on. window? A porthole? Uh, in any case, it's shut. Let's see. No. Well, I thought there was light coming out, but I can't see much of anything. Hey, wait. I can hear... Is someone there? Uh, I thought uh, the voices they've stopped well, mines fun. oh boy hate those better watch my step I have Awkward feeling. Maybe I shouldn't look. I'll look anyway. Oh boy. <gasps> what the heck is this? <sighs> hmm. Wait. There's nothing here. <sighs> I must be imagining things. Hmm. This is unlike the others. Yeah. Why is that window position so low? I, uh, I need to take a look. Oh. Huh? <laughs> Graf? Don't cry. I'll get you out of here. 
I'm here, Graf. What are you doing in this cell? Don't worry. I'll help. Is there any way to open from your side? Hey, can't you hear me? Who's there? It's me. It's Brock. I'm... I'm here for you. No. What? No, you're not. Get away from me. But, Graf... Stop screaming! I'm not gonna hurt you. Oh. Huh? Oh gosh. I hear footsteps. What should I do now? Hmm. Raph? Where are you? I can't see you. Hmm. He must be hiding. Gotta get him out. Let's it's see him. Oh. They're coming for me. another round all right bring it on Got level up not coming back for more eh quitters nice um, well, one crazy special. Not that I really use it all that much. Huh? Hey, Graf? Oh no! Don't move! You're surrounded by mines. Uh, you did this. What? Did what? Don't. What should I do? Please, go away! Monster. Uh, it's over. The monsters are gone. No! You... You killed them all! What? No, no, I didn't! Liar! Just look! Huh? Uh-oh. No. I... They were... Oh. I... I really did. Please, forgive me, everyone. Huh? Raph, where are you? Raph, come here. You're safe now. Don't be scared. I never, never hurt. Oh, it hurts. I need to get out now. No! Uh, another dream. Uh, Graf isn't around. No. I better get up fast. Can't see from here, but I bet the sun has been up for ages. Huh? Pork! Hey, who gave you the right to barge in like this? The law! Oh, uh, <laughs> I forgot. Back to jail, huh? This isn't a choice. It's a cherry. Huh? A cherry? A cherry. Cherry. Yes. It's a request. Oh. Are you okay? Whatever. We've got a situation. Help us and I'll wipe the slate clean. Me? Helping the police? We're very understaffed right now. As per regulation 14-3032, in case of understaffing, the highest ranking officer can requisition any citizen for help. Hmm? Why me? Despite some aggressive tendencies, you've solved Sin's case remarkably well. 
Mm. You didn't blindly trust your client and uncovered the truth via uncommon methods. <laughs> I've met so many detectives over the years. You are one of a kind. Oh. We've known each other for a long time. Currently, you're the most qualified person I can trust. Uh, thanks, I guess. <laughs> okay, uh, I don't have much choice, do I? Not unless you're in a special place on my wanted criminals list. Come to my office in two hours. Wait, won't you explain? Later. <sighs> Chapter 3. Oh, a message? Oh. Better Bro, go to her something. garage first. Oh. Leah. I still can't make any sense of these nightmares. It didn't happen that way. I wasn't there. The only picture I have left. We were happy together. Even if it was short-lived. Okay. Nothing left. Let's see here. I guess we'll call this a video when we come back, folks. <sighs> Chapter 3. Have a good one.